The fifth annual Weeping Time African Unity Festival took place today. The event remembers the 429 enslaved Africans who were sold in West Savannah back in 1829. Our Kyra Navo stopped by the festival as they celebrated how far we've come. It was a hot and sunny Saturday in Savannah, which allowed community members to come out to the in-market arena and commemorate the weeping times when 429 enslaved Africans were sold in Savannah. But we're using this time as a way to build up community and help local black businesses be able to have an op opportunity to, to economically benefit, unfortunately, from our ancestors being sold. One of the business at Saturday's festival was Johannes Jones, but known to many as Botanical Boy. The 10-year-old entrepreneur was among dozens of vendors selling products. He was selling the plants that he grew. I see people not taking care of their plants, and I think that's wrong. Botanical Boy and his dad look forward to events like the Weeping Time Festival. It's our welcome back show, so we come out at the beginning of the year, March, then we we go out, get our setup ready, then we go out and sell plants. It means a lot to be here, especially in this particular um, arena, Waterworks Plaza area, because this is the largest investment that was placed in the community. And so with us being able to be here, to be forward facing, to say that we're not leaving, that we're here to love and continue to wrap our arms around the community is a great feeling. In Savannah, Kyra Naveau, WJCL 22 News.